We found a very rare shell, Mum. You have to come in the water to come and find it because it's on the buoy thing, Magic. Today we're in La Pirogue in Flick on Flack and if reef conservation interests you then this one is for you. We're on the west coast of Mauritius which is famous for its long white sandy beaches. For those of you who've been watching this vlog for a while you'll know that the ocean is my passion. Anything to do with getting in the sea really floats my boat. Little surprise then that I jumped at the opportunity when Sun Resorts invited me to join in with this initiative. It's a joint collaboration between several NGOs, namely Ecomode Society and the University of Mauritius. Yeah, we have several sites around Mauritius. Uh, this project is not it started in 2018, but we are doing coral farming since 2009. We have already more than transplanted more than 10,000 fragments. I'm meeting up with Dr. Yohan Louis, who is a marine biologist working together with Sun Resorts. But before we can get into that, Bella has apparently found a rare shell. Ah, true. It's a very beautiful and rare one now. They're very soft and that's their ah. tongue. This is a carry yeah. um, and it's rare. I just absolutely love my kids' fascination with nature. <sighs> So what exactly is it that Dr. Yuan and his team are doing here? So we have a restoration project here. So what we do here is we're trying to form corals, increase their numbers, and then we'll try to put them back in these degraded areas so that we can like repair this ecosystem. This process involves taking people out by boat onto the lagoon and transporting pieces of coral which are then transplanted onto wire frames also known as spider racks. Les palmes, il faut faire bien attention. Les palmes font plus de dommages quand on part. This is a starring role. Okay. Putting on a, putting on a When you, your coral has grown, you cannot put it on the sand because they will die with wave movements and action. So we have to give them another hard support, which is the, the frame. And now we are also putting some, trying the pilot project, putting some concrete bricks so that it will immediately act as a shelter for fish and for other marine life. The hope is that this coral restoration program will actually help rejuvenate the reef ecosystem and the lagoons. So we are trying to raise awareness and get communities involved now because it's known now that doing science alone is not enough. We have to have the public involved. This project is a great educational tool. There is no better way to teach people what's going on in the planet, teach them what's going on with global warming than actually taking them out onto the site and in this case showing them directly what is happening to the reef. We have to all do our bits. In Mauritius overall, we have a lot of corals that have died over the years. Like we have lost 50% of corals in some places and Ficon Flac is badly affected. Sadly, it's not only Flicon Flac here in Mauritius that has been affected by this uh, coral bleaching. It's occurring all over the world. In fact, in Great Barrier Reef in Australia, they have now experienced their third bleaching event in five years. And the problem here is that the corals are stressed by the warmer water temperatures, so they turn white as they expel the algae, which gives them their color. But it's not all doom and gloom, not all is lost yet. It's not too late, there is some hope. There are some corals that can actually uh, tolerate the increase in temperature that the world is facing. So it is this coral that we have to like, identify, the tolerant one, and we try to reproduce in the nurseries. And success 
success so far? I mean, how, how long have you been doing this? Are you seeing results or is it too early? No, it's a good uh, time because we started last year, almost one year. So the success rate, let's say we had like 80% of our corals which survive in the nursery. Sounds like a real success story. Long may it last. So coming here today and checking out this reef restoration or reef implantation is something amazing for me and it's a fantastic initiative. Another great project is the Dissomé pour sauver nos coraux. In English it means 10 summits to save our corals. These guys are climbing 10 mountain peaks on the island to help raise awareness for the plight of our reefs. Do check out their info online. So a massive shout out to Sun Resorts and La Pirogue for hosting me here today. This is a fantastic initiative, one that I'm very, very excited to be part of. There's so many people to thank, so do check out the uh, description below for all the people who have participated in today's event. And that's it for this week. I do hope to see you again very soon back on Island Tales.